All right, so this is stuff that came out of my trash or treasures unit. It was the homeless unit that we went through. Uh, some of this stuff, I just kind of glanced through it, but I haven't been through it. Look at this. Jewelry box, and it's not empty. Uh, here we have the little box. Let's open it up. everybody welcome back to another great episode of the storage scavenger this is james and happy new year today is january the second we are back at it now the holiday rush is over all the excitement and all the drama and fun of being around family and friends hey i hope you had a great new year i hope you had a great and safe time but we got to get back to work now that all that stuff's over and behind us it's time to hustle it's time to get out there and get a lot of work done if you're new here we find abandoned storage units and we sort through it. We do unboxings. We also do reselling tips and strategies on how to move the stuff that we do. We are newbies in this business and we're building our business and sharing it. So if you like that kind of stuff and if you want to see how to build a reselling business based off of storage units, make sure that you click subscribe and uh, click the little bell notification so you know about all of our videos coming up. So let's get to it and let's get to work today. Along. Our shelving's coming along. We're starting to get it put together. This is my eBay shelf. So I'm starting to load it up a little bit. Uh, we actually had some eBay sales over the last couple of days. So there is the paper shredder that we showed the other day. It's already packaged up, but we got to get it shipped out. It already sold. Uh, got a couple of other items to pick real quick. So I'm going to pull those, get them loaded into the car, and then we're going to get to work. So in case you're new here, we just loaded up my own storage unit. This is my storage where I'm sorting everything out. So I'm cleaning up the mess that I've made. I bought a whole bunch of units and I got all sorted here. I still have to go through it, sort it, get it listed and sold. We are doing today's Thursday and Saturday and Sunday we're doing a garage sale. We can do that year round here in Texas even though it's January because the weather is so nice. But we're going to be doing a garage sale this weekend. So I've got to get some of this stuff sorted out get some of it cleaned up and ready to sell so we can sell it this weekend. I'm also looking for stuff to list on eBay. So let's go through some of this stuff and see what we find today. All right, so this is stuff that came out of my trash or treasures unit. It was the homeless unit that we went through. Uh, some of this stuff, I just kind of glanced through it, but I haven't been through it yet. So we're gonna be looking for some of this stuff, sorting some of it out. We got a bag here for some trash and let's get some That's going to go in the donation pile. Um, when we sort through this stuff, we have to go through every little thing because you never know what you're going to find. Some of it may be stuff. This this unit, we found cash in there. More than almost enough cash alone just to pay for the unit. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go back and check them out. Partial pack of cigarettes. Ew. I'm a smoker, but I'm not going to smoke used cigarettes that are open like that. Glasses. I'll have to check those out. Sometimes you can resell the glasses frames. Some people will buy them if they're not broken. These don't look like in that bad of shape, so I'll have to check those out and see. jewelry box and it's not empty oh look at that oh look it's a mason's ring this was all in the uh oh there's something stamped inside of it i can't read that I'll have to check it out when I get home and I got my jewelry loop. Oh. Okay, we'll have to take all that stuff back to the house. We'll check it out more depth whenever we're at the house and we've got our better equipment. But that's pretty cool. Some of that stuff that I can probably resell. Oh, look at that. 
I've actually got a set of speakers that we got out of this unit. I'm actually using them on my phone right now. Or on my, I'm using them on my computer right now. Uh, but there's another set of speakers. So I bet we can probably look those up. They might be worth some money. So one of the things we're doing is we're taking a lot of stuff that we found in these units that we got. We're just lighting a bunch of it up and we're selling it to other resellers. Because, well, quite frankly, I've got so much stuff to go through, there's just no way I could list and sell it all individually. It would take me a year just to sell it all, and there's some good profit in some of this stuff, but not enough to make it worth spending the next year. And besides, if I spent the next year doing that, I wouldn't have time to make any other videos. So, we're going to have to uh, do some uh, bulk sales to get rid of some stuff. So, I'll talk to you later about how we're going to plan on doing that. All right, so we got right here, Levi Strauss, 3232s. Uh, Levi's are really good sales usually. So uh, there's a few stains in them. I'm gonna try to wash them and see if I can get some of those stains out. But I might be able to sell those online. Nike shorts, eh, not in great shape. We'll probably throw those in a garage sale bin. Oh, these are nice. Nike pants. The Nike dry fit stuff, that stuff resells pretty well so far. I've had some good luck with that stuff, so we'll have to test some of that stuff out. And there's some underwear. Now we've got some more pants here, but these are all tore up. I'm not even going to put those in a resale lot. I'm just going to trash those. But sometimes, too, sometimes some people will buy these denim because they'll make stuff out of it. So don't always discount it just because it's all tore up. These are Amber Crombie and Fitch. Oakley's hat. Clean that up. Echo Unlimited. Again, more denim though. Might be able to cut up some of that denim stuff, wash it up, and cut some of it up and use it for scraps. What would Chuck Norris do? T-shirt. Might be able to clean that up. We'll see if we can get that one cleaned up. As, uh, that's Walmart brand. That'll go in the garage sale pile. Another pair of Levi Strauss. Those are in nice shape. The weather didn't cooperate, so we it started raining. We had to head back to the house. Uh, so now we're going to work on doing some shipping, shipping some items out. We're going to work on some listings, and we're going to share some other things that are going on in our business. Don't forget, we also have the box that we found in the storage unit. We're going to go through that at the end of the video, so stay tuned and sh see what all we found. Alright, so we got the Kate Spade wallet we uh, sold. We just put it in a simple little bubble mailer and sealed it off and put it as small as we could get it. And we have here the paper shredder. I've got it bubble wrapped, paper on both sides. We'll put some more paper on top as well as the packing slip all wrapped up and sealed up uh, labeled I've got the labels covered up so you can't see their personal information uh, but these are ready to ship so we're gonna go get these in the mail uh, luckily we got them done before the mailman came so he'll pick them up for me today one of the things I wanted to start doing with my video channel is start answering questions people are emailing me questions all the time as well as people asking me questions through the lives that we do and I don't always get to all the questions, so I really want to start hitting some of those questions and sharing them here in my videos. So we're going to be adding this little tips and strategies based on the questions people send us. So if somebody asked me a question just the other day about how do we market our, our uh, listings other than just writing really good titles and taking good photos. 
Uh, two things. One, sales copy. You have to study sales copywriting. I've been studying it myself. I'm not great at it. I'm learning it as I go. So, uh, But I do recommend uh, reading some books on sales copy and especially short sales copywriting uh, because you want to keep your descriptions short uh, and to the point, but at the same time, that is your opportunity to sell your product. The other issue, other thing is, that's part of why I started YouTube. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to showcase some of the products that I'm selling and show them off, see, show people what I'm finding, and then lead them into the product pages on my eBay store. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I started doing YouTube videos. Uh, my, my purpose behind YouTube's kind of changed a little bit because I've gotten so engaged in the community and I enjoy the community so much. Uh, but it's still part of why I do YouTube is because this is one of the ways that I share with people uh, what I'm finding and kind of pre-sell people on getting the products that I get. Um, you can also do that through pictures on Instagram and other s sites uh, to kind of get the word out. Don't just rely on eBay to send people to your listings. Do what you can to try to get out there and get other people to come to your listings for you, whether it's through social media, whether it's through paid advertising. I know some people that do paid advertising to get traffic. I haven't tried any paid advertising myself yet. Uh, I probably will in the future as I build up my business more. Uh, but right now, I'm working on relying on ways that I can send people to my listings for free while I build up the business. So we got these during one of our thrifting hauls on little china plates. They are, Let's see if I can get it focused there. They are Harmony Rose uh, collectible china plates. We actually got a set of five plates. One, two, three, four, five. We got a set of five of them at the local Goodwill. We picked them up for five bucks for the whole set. And let's look these up real quick on eBay. So here we are at eBay. And we are just in the search bar. We're going to go Harmony House Rosebud Pattern Number 3534. 3534. 10 inch plate. Let's do a search. No exact matches play uh, dinner plate right there for five dollars plus ten dollars shipping. So if I did it uh, for fifteen dollars with free shipping, eight twenty. Yeah, so if I do these for approximately fifteen dollars free shipping then I should be able to sell those. And we only paid $5 for the entire set. So if I set these for $15 free shipping a piece, and then I'm able to economize on my shipping, I should be able to make some decent money on these. See, that's a seven and five eighths. This is a 10 inch plate. Let's see. Yeah, that's the salad plate. That's the seven and five eighths salad plate. 10 and a quarter inch. Uh, uh, sell one like this this is going to populate uh, my sold listing 
and now I'm gonna take pictures so I want to put that on I've got my uh, lighting set up so we're gonna try to take some pictures with one of the things that I have found with eBay if I've got light colored stuff like this I want to do light colored pictures if or, uh, a dark if I've got light colored plates like this one I want a dark background so I use the black background if I have darker colored stuff I want the lighter background so we're gonna show that we're gonna do a couple of pictures of the front do some pictures of the side see that silver rim we want to make sure we flip it over get some good pictures of the back get some pictures of the stack so now we've got those pictures available now let's go ahead and let them finish uploading Now we go back, 10 and a quarter, that looks good, category, so for my store category I have a lot of categories, I want dishes in my store category, item details, condition used, UPC does not apply, Harmony House, Model Rosebud, color, pink, white, style, uh, none of these really fit, I'm not sure what that is, so I just leave it blank, main color white with pink rose, that's pretty good. Now I want to go into my description. And that's pretty good. so we are going to do them on buy it now we are going to start them at $15.99 um, we are going to take offers of $10 or higher we will consider um, delivery It's going to be about a one pound package 
is going to be at least a 12 by 12 by 2 package. Shipping service. Ship internationally, first class mail or international. They will pay for international shipping if I do local, but I do local pickup as well. Oh, I need to also go back to drafts. I didn't want to do that. I got to go back and I accidentally go all the way back. Go back to pricing. I also need to come back down here. More options. Uh, quantity. I have five available. Now I'm going to go back because what I'm doing is I am doing free shipping free for buyer um, and then I will pay the shipping um, I've already calculated the shipping into what I'm asking for them so and then list your item So then also want to make sure that you do your social sharing so that people can come to your stuff. I share it on Facebook. Post. And done. On New Year's Day, I always spent some time with Bolo Buddies, with uh, Courtney from Bolo Buddies, uh, T from uh, My Great Finds for You and Auctions for You, and Donatella Bortolini from Donatella's Auctions. And uh, one of the things that they did during that great live was T and Donna said, if anybody's interested in doing some auctions, uh, Here's our email. So I've already sent them an email. I'm trying to get in contact with them. One of the things, I've already got some bulk lots already up on my eBay, but I'm trying to get with them and start running some auctions with them as well so we can get rid of some of the stuff that we're trying to move out. So look forward to those auctions. As soon as I get some information on when those auctions will be, I will let you know. We're making progress. We've got our eBay store now, over 80 items on our eBay store. We're building it up. Just a few days ago, we only had 60 items on our eBay store. We're building it up. We're building it up. Our goal is to get to 300 items. So it's taking us some time. We're slowing down a little bit to record, but we're going to go list some more stuff after we finish this video. Uh, but so that's what we're doing right now. We're listing, we're listing, we're listing. We're cleaning up the storage. We're sorting enlisting sorting and listing sorting and listing that's basically what the focus of everything i'm doing right now is so but we're moving forward we're making progress and things are getting better we're already seeing some sales coming through and it's building 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 so if that's what you really want to do you've got to stay consistent on listing but you've also got to keep sorting you've got to keep going through stuff and you got to keep getting yourself organized that's what our focus is on right now we're also getting ready for a garage sale. I talked about that a little bit earlier. And don't forget, we still have this little box. We're going to go through that in just a few minutes. So things are going really, really well here at the Storage Scavenger. Um, make sure, if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you keep up with what we're doing with our growth and with our improvement as we're moving forward on our videos and on our business itself. So... We're trying to grow. We're trying to grow here on YouTube. We're trying to grow here on YouTube. Make sure, also, if you like the videos that we're sharing, 
make sure you share it with other people. We're trying to grow this channel and we're trying to uh, get the word out about what we're doing. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share our videos and come back and see us in what we're doing. Now let's get back and finish up with that little box and show you what all we found. This is amazing. All right, so here we have the little box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is a box of jewelry that we found. This came out of the homeless unit that we did just a few weeks ago. Look at that. No markings or anything on that one. It'll go in our jewelry jar. Look at that. There is a marking right there. We checked it out. 10 karat gold right there. It's broken, but that'll go in our 10 karat gold scrap piece. Just a little piece of something. There's a little pin. I think it's brass. But look at that. Mason's ring. And there's a marking inside. Let's check that out real quick. Unfortunately, I can't look through the jeweler's loop. I can't look on the jeweler's loop on video. But that says 14K on the inside. So 14 karat gold. We're going to have to actually get this tested. Tell me what you think. Look at that. We have our scale. And this is the 10 karat broken ring. This is a 10 karat broken ring, and it is 8 grams of gold. Um, 10 karat gold, and this is the Masonic ring. It also weighs out at 8 grams, 14 karat gold. And here we have a gold calculator, and what we did was put our 8 grams, 14 karat gold, the current gold price, which was updated um, just today, just actually less than an hour ago, it was updated. Gold weight alone, 229.30. That's just the scrap value of the gold itself for that ring. That's pretty awesome piece. Leave me a comment, not in the chat for the premiere, if you're watching the premiere. But leave me a comment over in the comment section. What do you think this ring is worth? 14 karat gold Masonic ring. That's a premium piece. I can sell it as is. Tell me what do you think. Do you think it's real or do you think it's a fake? And if you think it's real, let me know in the comments what you think that this should bring. Hope these. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And we'll see you next time.